Good morning, good morning. How are you today? Welcome to Christ Over Coffee. My name is Andrew Dixon, and I would like to welcome you to this very special episode, episode 20, entitled, Come and See. You know, today is a very different day for us. Uh, we're doing it on Saturday, so happy Saturday morning to you. But we wanted to do something a little different, a little special, because this is a bit of a milestone for us. We never, at least I know I didn't, um, when we began this entire journey, I won't say that I didn't think that we would get to this point. I would say I didn't know if we would. I didn't know how many episodes we would be blessed to be able to do. And to not only be in this episode 20, but also be encouraged by the number of interviewees after this episode that are willing to step forward and share their testimony is such an amazing thing to know that there will be many more. And so we just wanted to stop, you know, with this being a holiday weekend, we wanted to take advantage of this special time to come with you um, on this Saturday and just say thanks. We thank you so much for coming alongside us. We thank you so much for your continued support of what we do here. Our number one goal is to encourage you and to also encourage people who feel a religious calling on their life to step forward knowing that there are people out here ready and willing to walk the journey with them so that you know that you're not alone. Today, as always, we'll be hearing from Sister Rosalia Galman, a Holy Spirit missionary sister, and Sister Rosalia is going to explain a little more about our Come and See program here at SSPS. And so without further ado, good morning, Sister Rosalia. How are you this morning? Good morning, Andrew. I am doing well and happy to see you all on this 20th episode of our broadcast. The topic of today's conversation is come and see. I love this topic because it brings my memory back to the first time of knowing God and deciding to follow him on this very special way of missionary life. There are so many moments God invites us just to come and see. You probably remember some stories in the Bible when Jesus answered the question of his followers saying, come and see. First, we find the invitation of Jesus' own lips in the Gospel of John chapter 1, verse 39. It is addressed to the two disciples of John the Baptist when the Baptist proclaiming Jesus to be the Lamb of God. When they asked him where he lived, he said, Come and see. We are not told anything about where Jesus was living, but we are told that they spent the day with him. You might also remember when Nathaniel was surprised by Philip's account about Jesus from Nazareth. Nazareth was small and insignificant town. Nathaniel doubted if anything good can come out from Nazareth. And Philip told him to come and see for himself who Jesus is. And in one of his many journeys, Jesus met and had a long conversation with a Samaritan woman. He speaks of the gift of God, which is like a living water, welling up for eternal life. The woman came to get water. But now, 
After seeing and hearing Jesus, she left her water jar by the well and went back to the town. And what did she tell the people? Come and see. There are times when we act like Nathaniel and Samaritan woman. When someone tells us how great God is, we ignore it or we play it down. When we are overwhelmed by so many issues in our lives, we are hesitant and feel that God cannot change our situation. God calls us to come and see Jesus. We cannot experience God and get to know Him if we are not ready to journey with God and are willing to come and see Him, to experience and to feel the presence of God. Today, we are happy to welcome Sister Aprilia Untarto, a Holy Spirit missionary sister. Sister Aprilia is a vocation director for USA province and has organized the Come and See program for more than six years. Good morning, Sister Aprilia, and welcome to Christ Over Coffee broadcast. Thank you for your yes to join us in sharing the Come and See topic today. Thank you, Sister Rosalia and Andrew, uh, for inviting me here to share more about our Come and See program. I just reflected with the audience about Come and See from the Gospel perspective. As a vocation director, you are the one who, like Philip, invites the young women to the Come and See program. Can you tell us what are the essential elements of the program? Actually, Come and See program is designed for those who want to know us more, especially to know religious life as a Holy Spirit missionary sister. And this program, of course, is part of a discernment process because through this program, uh, the participant uh, will get to know more about our life, our prayer, our spirituality, uh, our mission, and also our intercultural living. We, Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters, come from many countries around the world with many differences in cultures, background, and we come here, live together, and work together for a common mission. Actually, Come and See program is uh, designed to those who want to know more about religious missionary life especially as Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters. And this program is part of the discernment process because through this program, uh, the participants will get to know more about us. Uh, they will experience our prayer life. Uh, they will uh, also be introduced to our spirituality, even though it's just a brief one and also they will see our intercultural community living. Uh, this program is tailored uh, according to the needs and expectation uh, uh, from the participants. I would like to uh, have a small group of participants in this program, maybe two or three participants. The reason to have a small participants in the program is that for the participant themselves to have or to receive more knowledge about us and to ask more questions and also to reflect on their experiences with us. And of course that this program will be done in few times in a year uh, with a duration between two, three to five days. One of the highlights in this program is that uh, we will bring uh, the participants to visit our communities, uh, 
For example, maybe today we will go to Rogers Park in Chicago and they will meet with sisters and we will also share our ministries in Chicago and maybe the next day they can go to Gris Lake which is a, a north side of uh, Illinois where they can meet also the sisters and have prayer with them and also visit their ministry sites and perhaps also we can end it uh, with them uh, staying in our main convent in Northfield, Illinois to get to know more uh, sisters who are retired here and also some of them even though they are retired they still uh, do some ministries in many ways if the participants have more times we will bring them to our study house in Epworth, Iowa. In this place, uh, they will also see our working collaboration with our brothers, the Society of the Divine Word. Also because uh, the formation will be done in Illinois, uh, where the city of Chicago uh, resides or located, so we will also bring the participants to explore Chicago City, especially for those who come from outside Illinois. So feel free to contact us through our website, to our email or Facebook, and ask more information about this program. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sister Aprilia. We come from different places, grow, learned and saved by different stories and events of our lives. Our personalities are different, but our humanity and our call as a Christians are the same, to live close to God and to bring hope, love and peace of God to other people. Back to you, Andrew. Sister Aprilia, thank you so much for joining us. You know, welcome back. We know you spent some time away and we just want to say thank you for giving us just a little bit of your time to share with the audience the Come and See program and a little bit about yourself as well. And with this being our 20th episode, it's such a pleasure to have you be a part of it, knowing that we were able and blessed to work with you last year so often with the vocation chats. And so it's it's excellent sort of full circle to be able to share this particular moment and milestone with you. So thank you very much. Thank you for being available also on a Saturday. <laughs> thank you. You know, with the holiday season approaching, I want you to embrace the freedom given to you in Christ. He's placed something very special on the inside of us, something that we don't know exactly what we're called to do, but we sense that there's something bigger than what we're doing right now. And I want you to feel free to tap into that, that, that unction within, to discern what that might be in your life. And so if you feel a particular call to missionary service, we want you to know that the phone lines are open today. Our number is 847-441-0126. Again, that's 847-441-0126. From there, you just press zero and the operator will answer that call and send you to the appropriate party. Even though it's Saturday, we're opening up the phone lines so that if you have a question, the sisters may be available to answer that question for you. Or if you feel more comfortable, you can also visit our website and leave us a message there. That's www.ssps-usa.org. Again, that's www.ssps-usa.org. 
And from there, you just go to the contact section and just leave us your name, your phone number, and an email address that we can get back to you. And we will make sure that we contact you as soon as possible. Can't guarantee it today, but definitely on Monday. <laughs> Also, if this is your first time visiting us today, or even if you visited us before and this isn't your first time, we want you to know that we are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And we encourage you to follow us on these different platforms. And you can find us at these various locations down below me. And from there, we just ask that you would like, comment, and share the different encouragement posts that we put up. I cannot tell you enough the number of emails that we receive for prayer requests from our website and from various places online. You sharing these encouragements helps so many different people who never even knew that we existed. And they come and they ask for prayer and they ask spiritual questions just because you click share. So please consider keep doing that today. And thank you for following us online. We really appreciate you. Well, everybody, this is just so exciting. I mean, to be able to say episode 20, it's not something that we take for granted here. And I just want to tell you from everyone here, thank you so much for continuing to walk and journey with us. And if we are a source of encouragement in your life, consider leaving us a comment today. You never know. Those comments hit us on the days when we need it most. And we thank you. We love you. And until next week, remember, we're going to be walking this life one sip at a time. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Take care. Happy Fourth of July. Bye bye.